exciting news, my passionate cooks. Today I have an update about Miko's, right? Okay. Do you remember what a Miko is? If not, I'm going to drop a link down below that goes to the first video where I was talking about Miko's. But there is a, an organization, a nonprofit called Cook Alliance. And what they do is lobby, train, support passionate home cooks in being able to legally permit their home kitchen to be able to sell their food. How freaking exciting is that? So MECO stands for Micro Enterprise Home Kitchen Operation. And that is the term that they are using to define what this looks like, right? So when I say MECO, what I'm talking about is home kitchens that have been permitted to basically be a commercial kitchen. Super, super exciting. So if you've heard me talk about this before, this organization has been around for years, but they are really, really starting to get traction now. And I love giving you updates because there's nothing that we want more than be able to be able to serve from our home if we want to, as opposed to in our client's home. Now you may be asking, why is that even important? Well, here's the deal. If you are a passionate home cook and you want to be able to have your own business selling the food that you want to make, if you are baking, that falls under cottage laws. Cottage laws govern non-hazardous foods like baked goods, cakes, muffins, gluten-free baked goods, candies, that sort of whole milieu. There are a couple other things that fall under there. You can check your specifics in your area because again, these are things that are all controlled locally. So you'll wanna be looking at either your county or your city. So cottage laws were the first movement of this to get passed through. And it's actually only been recently that the final state passed it and it is now legal in all 50 states. That being said, you still need to follow all the local guidelines, get your permitting and et cetera, which is why you need to check what your requirements are locally. But there are a few places in the country already that are legal to get your home kitchen permitted, which is super exciting. So that's what I wanted to talk to you about today, the new updates that are happening with that. So currently, the movement started in California, and I have a list here. These are places where you can already get permitted. The counties in California are Riverside, Alameda, San Mateo, Santa Barbara, San Diego, Solano, Imperial, Lake, and Sierra counties already have this in place. Hang on, I'm gonna get to the latest ones to pass. But, so the great news too now is what they're lobbying for in California now that it's already been so successful and there is so much demand for it, they are raising the revenue cap. Now, this is a big deal, and if you are already a cottage baker, you understand exactly why this is important. These permits, both for cottage laws and these MECOs, have revenue caps, and the MECO cap right now has been $50,000. Well, if you've done any sort of cooking, whether it's cottage or you already have started your personal chef business, you know that 50,000 in revenue can happen like that. And to have that be a cap in your business is just hugely restricting because as entrepreneurs, you might have the goal that you wanna grow bigger than that, right? So they are already lobbying in California to double that revenue cap from 50,000 to $100,000. So that is fantastic growth happening there already. And what this does is sets the stage for everyone else, all the other states that are going to be coming along behind this. Cook Alliance predicts that within 10 years, it will be legal in all 50 states and they will be actively issuing permits. Super exciting. So where is this happening now? All right, the next county coming up is Santa Clara and they were the latest county to pass it. In California, it's called AB 626 and they now have an authorized micro enterprise home kitchen operation program. 
That is super exciting. And to celebrate, they have waived application and permit fees for 2023, which really gives startup entrepreneurs a huge step up to be able to get started with their own business. Can you imagine not even having to pay for the permit, being able to cook legally out of your own home? Honestly, that takes pretty much all the restriction out of it. And that's really what they're trying to do is to really lower the barrier for us and enable us to really be able to get started with our own businesses like this, right? So next up, are you ready? Georgia. Georgia introduced House Bill 287 to legalize home kitchen operations. It was sponsored by representatives Thomas, Schofield, and Moran. Thank you, representatives. They are currently in recess, but their partner operation, if you are in Georgia, is Humanity Farm to Table. So you can contact your local, re local representative, you can contact that organization directly and find out how you can help support that movement if you're in Georgia. And then Washington is next up with their House Bill 1706 and also Senate Bill 5708. They are introducing it for the 23-24 legislative session to legalize home kitchen operations. And there it's representative Entenman and partner organization is Ventures, all right? They are working closely to drive this legalization forward. So are you crushed that I didn't mention your state? I feel you, it's not in my state yet either, but that's okay because as a responsible personal chef business starter, you already know exactly how you are able to cook in clients' homes directly. You know to check your local city or county to see if you need business permits, and you can absolutely have your own successful personal chef business cooking out of your client's home. But if you are on board to drive this movement forward to legalize home kitchen operations, this is exactly what you need to do. First, go to cookalliance.org and sign up to get their updates. They also have opt-in forms on their website if you want to volunteer, if you want more information about how you can support the movement in your own state and area. They might have the uh, 411 on directly what's going on already that'll make it easier for you to know where to go and what to do. And then, Take it a step further. Reach out to your local state representatives and see if this is even on their radar yet. Let them know that you support the micro enterprise home kitchen operation movement, all right? Again, Cook Alliance is predicting that this will be legal in all 50 states within 10 years. Do you wanna wait 10 years for it to come to your state? I'm looking at you, Jersey, the last state to pass the cat cottage laws and you're the garden state, all right? You want this to come to you as fast as possible if you're a passionate home cook who wants to have a personal chef business where you can cook and sell food directly out of your permitted home kitchen. So hop on Google, find out who your state representatives are, send them an email, seriously, it is not rocket surgery. This is literally the absolute least you could do to support this movement. Because I'm telling you, there are clients out there, they're hungry for what you're cooking. And wouldn't you like to be able to do it out of your own kitchen? Then get on board and support the movement today.